Okay, next learning standard. Okay, determine the probability of combined event for dependent and independent event. Okay, so let's look over here. How do you determine the probability of combined event for dependent event and independent event? Okay, look at this example. Okay, box A and box B contains card label with number 3579 and letter XYZ respectively. A card is chosen randomly from box A and box B respectively. Uh, so, they pilih box A dulu, lepas tu baru box B. Okay, calculate the probability of getting a factor of 9 and letter Z. Okay, so, uh, kita cuba tengok. Okay, probability of getting a factor of 9. Uh, apa factor of 9? Factor of 9 adalah nombor yang boleh membahagi tempat 9 kan? Uh, so, we know that it is 3 and 9. Uh, so, probability yang pertama ni adalah 2 over 4. Probability box B pula nak dapat Z. Z ada berapa? 1 kan? 1 daripada 3. Uh, okay. Oh, ada sini. Uh, kita tulis. Okay. So, factor of 9 is 2 over 4. Factor of Z is 1 over 3. Okay, so probability of factor of 9 and the letter Z and kalau N ni apa maksud dia tadi? Darab. Okay, so 2 over 4 times 1 over 3. So, the answer is 2 over 12. So, kita kecilkan jadi 1 over 6. Okay, ataupun alternative method. Okay, kita boleh gunakan uh, listing. Uh, okay. So, eh, kalau nak buat listing oh, Mana tadi okay, Sekejap saya buat di sini eh. This one is for listing okay. For example kita buat listing Boleh je tak ada masalah listing Okay so kita ada box A tadi kan So 3, 5, 7, 9 Then box B is X, Y, Z Okay buat macam ni Okay, so yang pertama sekali tadi kita kena tahu berapa number of sample kan So NS betul So NS adalah plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 darab 3, 12 Ataupun awak boleh kira lah 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 So 12, okay next Soalan nak tadi factor of 9 dulu So kita highlightkan factor of 9 So factor of 9 is 3 Okay. 3 and 9 okay, Lepas tu dia kata Z kan Z uh, I like Z uh, Kita ambil yang bertembung je lah uh, This one and this one Okay which are This one is 3 Z This one is 9 Z uh, Kan nak tulis lah kat sini uh, Okay So factor of Z is uh, 3 Z 9 Z Betul kan? 3 Z 9 Z Okay And then S tadi kita dah dapatkan 4 times 3 is 12 So we know that Okay factor ni ada 1, 2 2 2 from 12 So simplify 1 over 6 So sama lah Terpulang pada awak Awak nak jawab cara uh, Multiplication rule boleh Nak guna alternative method By listing pun boleh Okay Okay next uh, Let's look at example 5 Okay A bag contains 8 green marbles And a red marbles So kita ada 8 hi, uh, hijau 1 merah Okay 2 marbles are chosen randomly Okay 2 eh I ingat Two marbles chosen randomly one by one from the bag without replacement. Okay, without replacement. Without replacement, maksudnya sampling uh, sample space kita akan berkurang. Okay. The colors of the marbles are recorded. Okay, A. Represent the situation using a tree diagram. Uh, so, ni tree diagram. 
Okay, and then calculate the probability that the second marble is red, both are green marble. Okay, okay kita check. Okay, kita buat dulu. Kita punya three diagram. Okay, so uh, macam biasa lah. Uh, kita ada first marble, kita ada second marbles. Okay, for example, okay, first marbles mungkin saya dapat green. Green kan? Okay, green. Pakai green lah, green. Okay, second marbles mungkin akan dapat red. Uh, red. Maksudnya, uh, maybe, okay, at the first uh, choice, maybe I will get a green marble or maybe I can get a red marble. Uh, okay, so what is the probability of I'm getting a green marble? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so eight green marbles. Okay. So eight green marbles. Okay. Out of how many marbles? Uh, nine. Okay. And then what is the probability of I'm getting a red marbles? Okay. How many red marbles? Okay. One red marbles. Out of how many marbles? Uh, nine marbles. Okay. Okay, so this is the first marble. Okay, next. Second marble block. Okay, daripada uh, pertama tadi ada sembilan kan? Sembilan marble, saya dah cabut satu. Saya dah pilih satu. So, berapa lagi marble yang tinggal? Lapan lah kan? Betul tak? Uh, contoh sini kan? Uh, contoh saya dah ambil satu warna merah. Berapa lagi tinggal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it means, okay, the second marble ni semua... Uh, sample space kita akan jadi 8 ok so this one will become over 8 uh, over 8 and over 8 ok ok next ok green ok dah dapat green ok maybe I will get another green marbles ok or I will get red marbles sebab red tadi tak habis lagi kan uh, Red ada satu. Yang pertama tadi saya ambil green. So, masih ada red di dalam. Okay. So, okay. what is the probability of I'm getting another green? Ha. Sekarang kita tengok sini. Okay, contoh eh. Okay. Pertama sekali saya dah ambil green. So, green ini dah ambil lah. Okay. So, sekarang berapa lagi tinggal marbles? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ada 8 lagi marble yang tinggal. Okay, untuk memilih green, to choose green, okay, I have how many option left? Okay, so I have how many green left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ada 7 left. Uh, kan, logik lah di sini. Mula ada 8 pilihan. Dah pilih 1, tinggal 7. Okay. Boleh? Nah, betul lah kan? Dah pilih 1, berapa lagi green? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, 7 lah uh, Merah ada berapa? Masih ada satu. Uh, so 1 uh, Ok boleh uh, Ini kalau saya cabut yang pertama green Yang kedua green Yang pertama green, yang kedua red uh, Ok sekarang macam mana pula Case uh, Ok saya padam balik Macam mana pula case Kalau okay, Yang pertama sekali Saya dah cabut red uh, Saya dah cabut red dah Okay. So, sekarang Apa lagi yang tinggal Untuk uh, cabutan kedua Red dah tak ada So, tinggal green uh, Tinggal lah green uh, okay. So, ada berapa green yang boleh saya pilih uh, So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 So, ada 8 green uh, Sebab tu sini 8 per 8 Sebab merah dah habis Ha, habis dah merah Tinggal green Macam ni tadi Pertama saya ambil green ha, Tapi dalam ni Masih ada green dan merah Boleh eh? Okay So outcome yang mungkin Okay So mungkin saya akan dapat Green green ha, So green green Maybe Green red ha, Green red Mungkin juga Red green ha, Red Green ha, Ada tak red red Tak boleh. Sebab we only have one red and this is without replacement. Ingat tu. Okay. Kalau with replacement, yes. Sebab lepas ambil merah, kita masukkan balik. 
So ada kemungkinan untuk kali kedua tu cabut merah lagi. Okay. okay. Settle word number one. Okay next. Calculate the probability that. Okay. The second marble is red. Okay. So second marble is red. Uh, second marble. Okay, cari yang kedua kan. Um, okay. Awak tengok ni. Okay. This is the first marble. This is the second marble. We want the second marble is red. Ah, uh, this one lah kan. Uh, okay. So sekarang kita tengok jalan dia. Okay. Untuk mendapat GR, okay. Kita akan melalui ini kan. Ah, uh, tengok ni. Ah, uh, itu jalan. This is the way of I'm getting a second marble is red. Okay. So uh, from here, I can write it as okay. Eight over nine times 1 over 8 so 8 8 over 9 times 1 over 8 uh, so the first one is 8 over 9 the second one is 1 over 8 so this will give us 1 over 9 okay or what I done that Okay, settle the first part. Okay, second part, both are green marbles. Okay, so for both are green marbles. Okay, saya boleh tampak di sini kan, both are green marbles, this one. Okay, so the way to get both green marbles is this one. Okay, so how can I write the answer? You can write it as 8 over 9 times 7 over 8. 8 over 9 times 7 over 8, okay, which give us 7 over 8, okay. Okay, alalang kita dah uh, bincang pasal uh, tree diagram ni kan. Okay, later, okay, uh, if you calculate something that uh, across, macam ni eh, uh, kalau melibatkan operasi yang dari kiri ke kanan, okay, left to right, you will multiply the value. Okay, if later you it apa, uh, the calculation involve from top to bottom, okay, you will plus the value. Okay, uh, right now we are doing this this multiplication. Okay, later, okay, we will learn about this plus or this one is n, this one is or. Okay, nah, itu kita belajar lepas ni. Okay. Okay, uh, now let's look at self-practice 9.2C. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to do some of the question with you. Okay, so let's do the first question. Okay, box K and box L contains four cards labeled with letter bar U and three cards labeled with number 1, 2, 5 respectively. Okay, a card is chosen at random from box K and box L respectively. Apa maksud respectively? Tahu susun lah. Ha, maksud dia kalau ni, dia kata a card is chosen at random from box K and box L respectively. Maksud dia, dia akan pilih box K dulu. Okay, he will choose from box K first and then box L. Tak boleh box L dulu, bo then box K. Tak boleh. Respectively maksud box K and then followed by box L. It should be in order like that. Okay. By listing all the possible outcome, calculate the probability of getting a vowel and an even number. Okay. Dia nak listing kan? Okay. By listing all the possible outcome. Okay. So macam mana nak buat? Number one. Sama. Okay, so we have Bayu, Bayu, and then one, two, five. Okay, cuba buat table. Okay. Okay, now the question one. Okay, the probability of getting a vowel and even number. 
Kita cek vowel dulu Okay vowel A U Okay And then even number is 2 Okay So the possible outcome is from this box Okay So this is A 2 This is U 2 Betul Okay And then Kita kira lah Number of sample ni kan Box ni 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3 So 4 times 3 is 12 Okay So probability So kita list eh So Kita uh, list lah contoh A For example A Okay So the Possible outcome is A 2 U 2 Okay next uh, Kita tulis uh, Number of sample we have 12 uh, So P A Okay sebelum tu Okay number of A dulu N A Berapa N A Berapa A 2 kan uh, 2 Okay so Probability of A Is equals to Number of event in A Divided by number of sample So N A is 2 And S is 12 Okay simplify 1 6 Ok boleh Inilah suara dia Ok Mudah saja. Ok so I want you to try it yourself Number 2, number 3 And number 4 Ok Ok so I think that's it for today So we covered 9.1 and 9.2 For this uh, session Okay, for next session, next class, we're going to learn about 9.3, mutually exclusive event and non-mutually exclusive event. And last one, 9.4, which is application of probability of combined event. Okay, so um, for now, just try to complete the question that I uh, pointed for you to uh, answer. Okay, if you have any problem, you can ask me in the telegram. Okay, and then next class, uh, we're going to look into 9.3 and 9.4. And next week, we're going to do the uh, module that I've given to you. Okay, so I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. See you next class.